You're talking us. You're taunting us. You made initial contact and with us. And you won't even tell us who you are. You're you're so afraid. Afraid? Uh, yeah, it's you're called, afraid. It's called the right to remain silent. It's one called of our constitutional rights. Moron. Oh, wow. More name calling from the unchristian uh, wow. old geezer here. Welcome to the John Legato Show. I'm John Legato. Looks like you kind of fumbled there. Oh, yeah. All righty. Who are you? Who are you? I'm Daryl Little. Hi, Daryl Little. Nice to meet you. And who are you? Well, I choose not to give my name right now. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? I'm going to church. Come on, I'm awesome. taking pictures. Cool. Hallelujah. God bless you, friend. God bless you. Yeah, yeah. Well, you got a big beer gut on you. Oh, and wow. You, and looks like you haven't been to a gym in ever. Looks wow, like that's real Christian life. Wow, wow. You know, we've all watched a lot of auditor videos, but this is the first time I can remember that a private citizen immediately defaulted to insults. And to be honest, I, I kind of like it. In war parlance, this is called a first strike. Well, you got a big beer gut on you. Oh, and wow. You, and looks like you haven't been to a gym in ever. Looks wow, like that's real Christian like. Wow, wow. Wow, that's, wow, that's real, some that's judgment. Talking, real Christian like. Yeah, well, you're really being a Christian. Uh, who says failing. I am a Christian? I don't know who, what, what you're doing. Well, would you Jesus tell? approve of that? You walk up to somebody you've never met before and start uh, making insults about their physical appearance? You're out here. Wow, and you're I, a man of God, aren't you? you you're an idiot. Please. You're an idiot. Oh, wow. Oh, now he's I'm going sure to Jesus name Christ him, would huh? approve of that if he was here right now. Jesus Christ. Uh, he would approve uh, of your language? Uh, he would not approve of you being here. Really? Oh, and you know really? that? You know that for a fact? So yeah. Jesus has an issue with cameras? Yeah, because you're scum. <laughs> yeah, scum. Oh, really? wow, wow. Wow. Look at this guy. Wow. Judgmental prey. Oh, you're probably one of those Sunday Christians that you're holy today and then the rest of the week, week you treat people like shit. Yeah. I'm calling the police on you. Oh, don't do that. Why would you call the police? Why would you call the police? Why would you do that, my friend? He's going to call the police now. Well, tell them I said hi. Please do, okay? Tell them I said hello. Hi, buddy. How's it going? I'm not on your property. Learn the boundary lines, buddy. Learn, you know learn your boundary lines. Is? Yeah, you're taunting us. You're taunting us. You're taunting us. You made initial contact and with us. And you won't even tell us who you are. You're you're so afraid. Afraid? Uh, yeah, it's you're called, afraid. It's called the right to remain silent. It's called One of our constitutional rights. Moron. Oh, wow. More name calling from the unchristian uh, wow. old geezer here. Old geezer. Yeah, they have a yeah, special yeah. place in heaven for this guy. Go back inside and hear the good word, Grandpa. Or maybe you're not any off. younger. <laughs> uh, at least I'm not a head full of gray and white hair. Yeah, I'm pretty sure your hair is blonde. Oh, uh, die. I really hope you're not the pastor. Oh, that would be embarrassment. Such a welcoming congregation from this guy. Representation, very poor. Yeah, you represent your church really well, buddy. You represent you, uh, yourselves really well. I do. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah? You know, I realize that the gray-haired guy is pretty insulting. I really do. But he's unknowingly Mr. Karma to every auditor who routinely abuses civilians. Lights on. That's good. Can I have your badge number, please? Or ID number? 7663. Okay. Lane, L-A-N-E. Cool. Appreciate you identifying there. You know, I've been somewhat puzzled by some of the new locations that auditors choose to audit. They've been getting very creative lately. So the police arrive here and explain their presence. Uh, so we were called here because, you know, this, this is the LGBTQ church, and it's a sensitive, you know, sensitive spot considered. What's sensitive? They're targets of uh, hate crime. 
So, hey, you guys haven't broken any laws, obviously. We're just here to evaluate for a crime, like I explained. Yeah, yeah. So, if you don't have any questions, we're going to hang out uh, while you guys are out here. Just yeah. make sure that you continue to not break any laws. Yeah, well, I'll probably be here till after you guys leave, so. Okay. That's fair enough. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm going to go pop this job. Yeah, go right ahead. Oh. Hopefully, you keep it a positive educational uh, narrative there. going inside to create their privacy there. And while they're doing that, I'm going to go take a peek in the uh, patrol car here. So we got the uh, screen up here. You know, the auditor tactic of filming computer screens proves what? That the cop should have closed it. But think about this, capturing confidential information could actually harm someone, and that someone could be an innocent citizen, or even someone who supports auditors. Because auditors really anger people, and although most of us understand that auditors scream, curse, and insult people, they're just street performers. But someone else can use that personal info. So how'd the explanation go? Oh, we're not done yet. Oh, okay, cool. We're take care of some uh, offset. <laughs> oh, okay, cool. Maybe he's going to put his screen down. Oh, there we go. Very good. Let's create that privacy. Yeah. I already got it, though, but it's all good. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Maybe next time that should be uh, put down before you exit the car initially. Yes, ma'am. Hi. Uh, if you want to just let your partner know, I said hi down there, the one waiting for us. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Yeah, just tell him I said hi. I saw him sticking out down there. So if he's trying to be incognito, he's not doing a good job at it. <laughs> you know, I asked a question again. Harassing parishioners at church proves what? What? Does it prove police misconduct, stifling free speech, call your supervisor, you work for me, what? What does it prove? Or simply that auditors are street performers no different than an organ grinder's monkeys. As always, the John Legato Show is being broadcast from outside the gates of Marine Corps Base Camp Lejeune. If you like my show, please like and subscribe. It helps the channel. Semper Fidelis.